The D&D Day doesn't stand for anything. It was a code name given to the day that the invasion started. Why did they give it a code name? To keep it a secret from the enemy and so that they didn't have to change all of the official documents if the date of the invasion changed. Operation Overlord was the Allied military operation that began on D-Day and then continued until the German armed forces in Normandy were defeated, which was judged to be the 19th of August 1944. So it's roughly equivalent to what is often referred to as the Battle of Normandy. D-Day happened because the Allies needed to land in Western Europe in order to defeat the German armed forces. It also allowed the Allies to liberate Western Europe and it also played a really important role in shaping the map of Europe after the war ended. Operation Neptune was the Allied naval operation to land troops in Normandy, starting with those that were landed on D-Day, but then after D-Day the Allies needed to continue landing troops in Normandy to continue bringing more and more troops there faster than the Germans could bring troops in by land. The Germans expected the Allies to land somewhere in northwest Europe in the spring of 1944. They just didn't know where and when. Partly they didn't know where and when because the Allies had managed to keep their plans so secret. And when the Allies did actually land, the Germans weren't expecting it at that particular time because they thought that the weather was too bad. All of the figures are estimates because records weren't necessarily kept very accurately. The Allied forces had 10,000 casualties and 2,500 dead, although this may be as high as 4,000. The German casualties were as many as 9,000 men. Finding out about an individual who took part in D-Day depends on what country the person came from and what part of the armed services they served in. And sadly, it is a lot easier to find out about people who were killed on D-Day than it is to find out about people who survived. Why was D-Day important? Well, it was a vital stage in liberating France and other countries that had been occupied by the Nazi regime, and it was a really important stage in working towards the end of the Second World War. But also for the hundreds of thousands of people involved on D-Day in, in the Battle of Normandy, for them individually, it was a really important moment in their lives, and of course, Many of them were killed or wounded.